daddy, your sister, and your cousin and them doing? And you hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It's Tuesday up in this biatch, day before Juice's birthday. And uh, yeah, man, uh, I'm about to get me a coffee. And uh, that is because I have a long drive ahead of me. I have to go see about getting this package. UPS, I'm telling y'all, UPS be fucking up on some real shit. I don't know if you guys have had any trouble with UPS, but I promise you every time I have an issue, you guys know um, a couple months ago I had an issue. I had to go all the way out to Bumblefuck, Missouri to go pick up a package that didn't end up being there, got sent back to the sender. This could very well be the case today. This has happened probably three times already, and it's always when it's UPS. So now it's like, fuck, every time I do something, I'm going to have to alter how I get it done because UPS, anytime a package of any sort gets sent to me that way, it gets lost in translation. I don't know why the fuck it's like that. And then every time you call, I don't know if you guys have ever called for a UPS package to track it. Y'all, they don't want to do shit. They don't want to help. They don't want to do nothing. Period. I have no idea why that is, but that has always been my experience. So I'm going to make an attempt to go out to Bumblefuck, Missouri and see if I can get this package. Hopefully it's there according to the tracking that they have updated. It's still there, but you know, if it's there for a couple, you know, for a few days, um, it will get sent back to the sender. So there's a good chance I may go there and it may have already been sent back. So I am trying to go early in the morning. It's not super duper early, but it's early enough this morning where I may be able to retrieve it if I can get it. Um, so I need the coffee for the drive. But uh, other than that, it's Tuesday. I'm like so super excited about Juice's birthday. Only because I'm just excited to, you know, get started with celebrating and um, just making him feel special and all that good stuff. So my favorite thing in the entire world. And um, so yeah, I'm excited about everything, the celebration, everything that I have planned, all that stuff. So I'm like ready for his birthday to come up and then I'm ready for the weekend. You know, of course his birthday is on a weekday. So, you know, of course he's not gonna be able to indulge like he would on his actual birthday. Um, he's got a lot of stuff to do work-wise. Otherwise he would have probably taken off a personal day this week, but he's got some work stuff going on that he has to get done. So he has to go to work all week this week, but it's all good, it's all gravy because we're still gonna have a good time on his birthday. I'm still gonna do something nice for him and stuff. And then of course, he'll still have to get up and go to work in the morning, so. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's footage or yesterday's vlog footage. I was all over the damn place, but I'm so glad I got a lot of that stuff done because um, it allows me to go and do this, go get the package and do all that kind of stuff today. Jessica's daughter is getting braces today. Otherwise, I would be working out with her today. So she can't work out with me, which is fine. Today, I'm going to do my legs. So um, I had my egg whites and my oatmeal this morning and uh, I'm going to have my, my usual stuff that I would have on my leg day and hopefully Juice gets home early enough we can, we, we can just go knock it out, get it over with um, and do all of that. And then um, tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm trying to see if I can hit mitts with Tyron tomorrow, I'm hoping, because you all know I love boxing and every time I watch a boxing match, I want to get back into it again because I was doing boxing for a couple years, just boxing, just for exercise and I could hit some, some shit, okay? And then I got on this whole meal plan and stuff and got off of that because I had to lift and get my cardio in and do that stuff. So I haven't had time to really box. So I'm going to see if Tyron can hit mitts this week. If not, no big deal. I'll see if I can hit mitts with him next week or something. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to get some coffee. We're going to get this day started. I have a couple more little miscellaneous things maybe to get done. Juice done ate all my damn Greek yogurt and today's the day I have to have Greek yogurt like twice. So I have to go pick up some Greek yogurt. Yeah, I promise you I'm in the store all the time. He left, he, what he does when he gets done with something, he puts it on the counter so that I know it's empty. So vitamins, if something's done like a vitamin C, he'll put on, put that on the counter, the empty bottle or the Greek yogurt, he put that on the counter so that I knew that it was empty so I could go get some more. It's just how he does it so that I know it's empty and I'm glad he did that because it's the Trader Joe's Greek yogurt that I got just a couple days ago that I didn't know that he was eating off of and he ate the whole thing so I haven't even had a chance to try it because he finished his Chobani which by the way he had no problems with I didn't touch it because y'all know I got a sensitive ass stomach but anyway so let's go get some Greek yogurt y'all I'll be in the store okay and y'all know he doesn't go to the store so that's just my responsibility I take that and it's all good um because I don't like doing dishes and he does those that's just our agreement so it's all gravy Anyway, gonna get this coffee, gonna make this drive, and um, yeah. Let's get this day started, y'all. All right, so get this. So I come all the way out to Bumblefuck, Missouri <laughs> to come get this 
package. Now keep in mind, I didn't tell you the, the backstory. I was actually at my box yesterday to make sure that the package got here because supposedly it's been here since the 12th, which is last Thursday. And so I'm like, that doesn't make sense because I still haven't gotten it in my box yet. And that's abnormal, right? Well, it turns out now I'm all the way out in Bumblefuck, Missouri, and I had them call my box or had them call the post office because a lot of times having those two connect versus me calling on the phone as a customer to the post office or whoever is a better deal because they're obviously going to, you know, be more, you know, able to help each other essentially because they have all the tracking information in front of them. Do y'all know this motherfucker is over at my box right now? After the motherfucker I went to yesterday was like, um, yes, ma'am. There's no way it would be here. There's no way they would have delivered it here. It's going to be all the way, you know, out here where I'm at right now. So you're just going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Go out there and go get it. If not, it's going to get sent back to the sender. And that's the thing. That's the shit that I'm talking about. It's like no one wants to go through and help with anything. These people were sweet enough here to actually pull up the information. They let me come behind the counter to, so I can see that it says it was delivered to my box. And I was like, well, I went there yesterday and it's not there, you know? And so I, we had to like get on the phone with my postal service to let them know that it's supposed to be there so you guys need to look for this damn box because it's just chilling wherever it's at it's not in my actual box and then the guy on the phone was like oh actually we do have it the fuck after I done drove all the way out to Bumblefuck, Missouri to come and get this package that supposedly was supposed to be here see what I'm saying thankfully thankfully it's not completely lost you know what I mean because Obviously, um, you know, the people who sent it to me, they spent money on postage and all that kind of stuff, but that's just ridiculous. I just drove all the way out here for nothing, which I knew was going to be the case. I'm just thankful that the package is here, but now I got to go all the way the fuck back to my box. So that's the kind of shit I don't like. That's some fucking bullshit anyway, but at least they were sweet enough here. They literally went through and looked through everything, went through everything all kinds of stuff to try to get this package and it turns out it's at my box and they're like oh yeah we just got it no you didn't they've been sent that shit out to y'all and y'all have been had that shit since last thursday y'all just didn't put it out on the shelf so you could have easily looked to see if that package was somewhere in the back when i went there yesterday and instead y'all's asses sent me all the way out here when now you find my package it makes no fucking sense and when i go in there they're gonna be like i'm so sorry because they all know us they all know me at the box i mean they all know me at my postal service because i'm always in there getting packages and sending stuff out so <sighs> anyway but on the brighter note of course you guys know i don't stay upset long i'm just happy that they found the package so i can at least let the place know that i got the package and it's safe until I, i'm gonna go get it i need to physically have it in my hand to make sure that i have it um but at least it's safe and it's cool and they have it and that was the biggest thing because i didn't want them to have it lost somewhere out there in the wilderness so <sighs> anyway shit the shit you go through sometimes you know what i'm saying anyway all right here we go off to the box <laughs> all right so we're in schnooks i know i never shop here however <laughs> i just realized like i said earlier juice ate all the greek yogurt and this was just on the way back so i thought let me go real quick and grab the uh greek yogurt and uh, he needs some listerine he said so i'm gonna go ahead and get this over with get my greek yogurt and uh that way I can eat my next meal because my next meal has Greek yogurt in it. So I don't have a choice. I have to get it. So anyway, I have been realizing that I have so much to freaking do before the end of the week. Because even just things for me, like I want to obviously do something with my hair, which I will be doing hopefully before the end of the week, either Friday or Saturday. Probably Saturday. I just want it to be fresh. And then on top of that, um, I still need a pair of shoes for the dress that I want to wear on Saturday. So I'm gonna look around for that sometime before the week is up. And then I need to get my nails done because they need to be filled. So those are just random things I need to get done, no big deal. So as I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, I may not be able to see Jessica on Saturday because I want to make sure I'm able to get everything I need to get done done that particular day before we go out for the evening. So I personally may not be able to go, maybe he might go, but I may not be able to do it because I have to run a couple errands early that day, you know, so 
so I want to make sure that I'm cool in the gang in doing that. So, um, so yeah. There we go. Okay. So we got that and Listerine. Shouldn't be too far from here. But yeah, so I still need to get all that stuff done. And then of course, usual shit. You know, I gotta get, I gotta pay some bills and uh, all that stuff before the week is up as well. So, um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, they're over this way. Anyway, so I'm gonna get it all done. Plus get my workouts in and stuff. So I'm going tonight, so I should be cool on that. Oh, the dog area, me. Oh my God, so get this real quick. Juice was so cute yesterday. He actually um, was outside. He was walking in from, um, coming back from work. And uh, anyway, we have a new neighbor in our neighborhood. And we didn't even see them move in, honestly. So, new, new neighbor. And um, that new neighbor was taking a walk while he was talking to one of our other neighbors. That new neighbor was talking to, um, um, or was the new neighbor was taking a walk with her dog that she had just adopted. So literally like I think the week before. So there, um, she's walking through, introduced herself and said, hi, I'm the new neighbor and blah, 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 blah. And uh, we're showing the dog, you know, her dog and stuff and where she got him and stuff. She got him from either Petco or PetSmart at one of those weekend adoptions that they do every weekend. And um, anyways, a small dog, it was a pug something, a pug Yorkie, I believe. So as soon as he walked in the house, he was like, okay, so I just saw the dog and, you know, the new neighbor just adopted him from Petco, PetSmart, whatever. And uh, he was really hyped about it. He was like really excited about it. So um, we lo he was like, look him up, look him up on the, because I didn't have a chance to get outside before she had already left to go back into her house. And so um, anyway, he was like, look, you know, look it up. It was gray and black or gray and white or something like that. Anyway, um, we looked the dog up, adorable. And uh, it was just cute because he was just like, yeah, you know, that's a cute dog too. So anyway, it's obvious that we both want to uh, look into getting a pooch. My biggest thing is training the dog and being around for, because we want a young one, we want a baby. And so um, that's gonna be the big deal is making sure that we are around, especially because we want to go to Vegas in the next month and a half. So, um, but we still want to go look and stuff. And if we find something, then we find something, you know? Anyway, but it was really cute. So it's obvious we're both on the same page with wanting, wanting to get a dog. So um, if we can, if we're not too hungover on Sunday, we may go look in the morning. That's the best time to go. It's in the morning at Petco, Pet Smart, or whatever to see what we have. If not, you know, we'll wait till the following weekend. But I think we're going to, I think we are really going to pursue looking and slowly but surely get back into trying to see if we can find another pooch for our house. Because I do miss having a dog. So anyway, I'm going to check out and uh, open up this box see what's in it <laughs> okay so oh my goodness so excited to show you guys what's in this package like pleasantly surprised at the things that were sent so um yeah I cannot wait to show you this package so happy I found it I would have been sick if um, it got lost in the mail for real for real that would have been a mess for the company that sent it so, and not in a bad way, you know what I'm saying? I mean, stuff like that does happen, but I'm so glad that I actually um, found it and they had it. I cannot wait to show you all these things. Oh my gosh. Oh, and one in particular, I'm like floored, and one that you're gonna be like, bitch, back, and I believe that you're showing that you wait, just wait, just wait. Anyway, I will let you guys know when that haul is up, I will have to shoot a haul for it for sure. I will be shooting a haul for it sometime in the next couple of days or so. Um, oh my God floored 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 so anyway okay yeah oh my gosh so happy i got this okay um i gotta eat so i'm gonna have my um you guys haven't seen me eat this in a while it's the chicken buffalo chicken wrap with greek yogurt um and spinach in the wrap and stuff so i'll show you what it looks like when it's done yeah. all right there's my lunchy poo greek yogurt spinach wrap and hot sauce you yeah. all right y'all so we got our protein powder, we got our oatmeal, we got our frozen strawberries, we got um, some ice and some water, and this is gonna be our sludge slash protein shake, but it's thicker than a protein shake, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, here we go. All right, I'm waiting for it to focus. Come on, man. There we go. 
Are you going to focus? There we go. There's my shake, y'all, just so y'all can see what it looks like. It actually looks like strawberry milk. Yeah, you know the one thing I forgot to put in there is the nuts. I totally forgot to put them in there. So that would change the color a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and drink this before it settles. What's up, y'all? Your girl, all up in these streets. Okay, so your girl's at the gym, and as you can tell, ain't nobody else up in here with me. Yeah. Your boy opted out of today's workout, and I knew he was gonna do that just based on earlier conversation. I was talking to him like a couple hours ago, and he was just like, yeah, because it turned, you know, we still have to return the socks. So I was thinking we could go to the gym, then swing by the mall real quick, and you know, exchange the socks, you know? He was like, oh yeah, all gung-ho about that shit yesterday. Then today, he was like, well, you know, I said, well, you know, after we get back from the gym, he was like, oh, the gym? I was like, nigga, the gym, nigga, the gym, nigga, but, I could already tell he was all hesitant about it. I was like, never mind. So he's tired anyway. And you know, we worked out, well, I worked out Friday. He worked out Saturday. He's just like, you know, you all know he's not in, into it as much as I am. <laughs> Baby steps with that bros. But anyway, your girl's here. She's gotta get at least part of her leg workout done. I've just kind of had to make the determination. The, det the fuck I just say I'm tired. Um, haven't been sleeping as well either the last week because I've been staying up too late and that's not good. Um, but anyway, and I know I've been saying that forever, but I really have been, I'll say I'm going to go to bed and then I'll, oh shit, I forgot to do something and I'll get to doing it. And that's what keeps me up because my mind continues to race. That's just got to stop. So I told myself tonight, I'm going to go to bed, stop working on the computer, go to bed at a reasonable hour and make that a trend. Check it out, y'all. The wife, you headed to the gym today. I wasn't, unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it. Um, I'm sitting here. Just uh, contemplate what I'm going to do for my birthday. I'm getting my birthday drinks together, getting everything organized so I can have a nice, good, clean, fun birthday weekend. Uh, let me show you what I got here. Just one sec. Oh, this is why I can go to the gym because I was looking for this. Check it out. Yeah. Now, the these are the bottles I picked up when we were in Seaside, Florida. Now, as you can see, this is silver patron i don't have the box with me but i think i think i think each bottle i think each bottle is uh four shots it might be two shots i don't think that's four i think each bottle is two shots a piece so this weekend, this is gonna be my drink of choice. Some good old fashioned Patron, y'all. That's what's up with me. Juice's birthday is tomorrow. And so I wanna be up and at him for that. Juice has a game, a softball game, two softball games. I guess it's a double hitter or heavy hitter or double whopper or whatever the fuck tomorrow that I have to be at. So, or I'm gonna be at, not have to, but I'm going to be at, cause it's his birthday. So um, anyway, I won't be able to get to the gym unless I go earlier in the day and um, I may not want to go earlier tomorrow I may want to get some videos done so I'm gonna get the leg workout partially done and then I have to do the other part of the leg workout probably on Thursday because these leg workouts are too long for me to do this late in the evening it is now six something I think Ron's gonna be up here but you know how he is he's shy as fuck on camera and um, anyway I think he's already up here he's been texting me like dude where you at y'all come in and I'm like uh, nigga it's just gonna be me so anyway gonna go up in this motherfucker we gonna get as much of this workout done I told myself I'm gonna get out of this motherfucker like 8 15 I'm done at that point because I need to get sleep and uh, yeah and then hopefully tomorrow if I get inspired I may do a little bit of cardio but if not I got Thursday and we'll go from there so I don't know if juice is gonna vlog hopefully he does and um, so you all can see him because you all saw a lot of me the other day when I was running around so yeah I had to split that vlog into two it's just easier on my computer it's a lot quicker to um, edit also when I can split the vlog so sometimes you'll see that just because it may be a lot of footage that I shot that day so I hope you guys enjoyed both parts of the vlog but I wanted you guys to see all that was done behind the scenes before you see some of the stuff for his b-day so I wanted to make sure to let you guys know that so I hope you guys enjoy those two and uh, yeah let me get this over with I ain't, I ain't do shit today. I came home, laid down, uh, you know, just trying to get some rest, trying to rest up for the weekend, get it started right, and uh, with a little help from my buddies, my two buddies right here, a little help from my buddies, 
and uh, we have a great re weekend. If not, hey. Well, I'm not going to say if not because I'm going to throw that out there. It's going to be a great weekend. Uh, should be full of fun and just relaxing and just whatever. Um, now, probably what I should have done is just taking the day off tomorrow, but I didn't. And so, unfortunately, I'm going to have to go to work and uh, uh, spend those eight hours of my birthday at the job, which is no big deal because, hey, it is a job. And um, to save the partying for this weekend. Other than that, y'all, I don't know what else to say. I'm just getting ready. I'm going to turn in early tonight, get a good night's sleep. Oh, oh, one more thing. Uh, change your plans tomorrow, my birthday. I know why I'm going to work because uh, tomorrow night, we back at it, y'all. If you know, and for any y'all, for those y'all have been following us, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's Wednesday, so we back at it. I'll show you guys tomorrow what I'm talking about. But hey, we coming back with a new look, new attitude, uh, just a, just a whole new agenda, y'all. We coming back strong this time. It ain't gonna be none of that stuff that happened last time. We coming back big this time, y'all. New look, new bats, new uniforms, new attitude. We coming back. We coming for y'all, man. So, I'm going to show y'all that tomorrow. For those of y'all that have been following us, y'all not already know what's up. And, uh, yeah. I'm about to <clears throat> wash some clothes and uh, hit the sack in a minute. Because I'm turning early, like I said. Getting an early start tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Just getting ready, y'all. Getting mentally prepared. Same way y'all prepare for, you know. Uh, same way Mayweather prepared for his fight I'm preparing for my birthday the same way mentally, physically emotionally y'all what up walk of doom, I hate this shit not even gonna lie to y'all, I hate doing legs hate with the passion doing legs but I'm gonna go ahead and get as much of it done as I can and do the other half in the remaining, remaining portion of the week, but I'm going to do the major, major portions of the workout so that I don't miss anything and um, anything major, you know. Got to get this ass together, physically this ass. So, <sighs> I so don't want to do this. I love when people stare. It's so funny. I'm so used to it. I see them doing the side eye or like looking like, what the fuck is this bitch doing? Anyway, huh? let's go.